Ready to go? We rolling? Hey everyone, this is Jay Todd, and here's what's happening this week in gambling. Gambling has been made possible by Casino Action, a member of the Casino Rewards family. Casino Action, where the action never sleeps. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the inaugural installment of This Week in Gambling. I'm your host, Jay Todd, coming to you from my secret underground bunker studio somewhere beneath the Las Vegas Strip. Got my green screen and everything going on. I'm all fancy, ready to bring you news, information, and entertainment week in and week out. I'm just that dedicated. We're going to start this show with news on sporting bet and, uh, oh yeah, fun things to do with your mobile device. But first, full tilt poker. Now, the anniversary of Black Friday is uh, coming up this month, and uh, that's when full tilt poker was basically caught with their fly down, owing players hundreds of millions of dollars. Now, now the Alderney Gambling Control Commission was supposed to be regulating them. Let's see, uh, regulation. But, but Alderney says that full tilt is, is not their fault to control by rule or principle to keep a standard system. Huh. Listen to me now. The, the regulators say it's not their fault. You'd never see something like this happen in Nevada. So now <clears throat> Alderney goes out and hires a guy, the former chairman of the British Gambling Control Commission, to basically exonerate them. Peter Dean said that Alderney was an example of regulation working as it should. Hmm. Notice none of this has anything to do with players getting their money back. I think what we need here is real, actual regulation, not some guy sitting on an island in the English Channel going, uh -uh, make the check payable too. With more on this, here is my favorite old bitty grandma with this week's rant. So let me get this straight. The Alderney Gambling Control Commission hires the guy to look into how they handled the full tilt poker debacle. This guy finds that Alderney is an example of regulation working as it should. Really? Huh. Really? Huh. So the guy hired by Alderney seems to think they're doing a pretty good job. Well, there's a big freaking surprise. Thousands of players out their money. Millions of dollars gone missing. And the guys that were supposed to be protecting the players did their job correctly? You call this uh, regulation working as it should. Hmm? Sort of like your car alarm going off 20 minutes after somebody jacks your radio. If this is regulation as it should work, then let's just trash the whole damn system. At least if there were no protections at all, players would know what they were getting. Boy, I really love that woman. We're going to take our break, and when we come back, as promised, news on sporting bet and fun things you can do with your iPhone uh, that I didn't even know about. Don't go away. I don't really have an iPhone. Like us. Then join the conversation on our Facebook page. Interact with show hosts and other viewers. Leave suggestions and topics for future programs. Visit facebook.com slash This Week in Gambling. A new era of online poker. AmericasCardroom.net. Play poker for free. All players welcome at AmericasCardroom.net. Play in ring games, tournaments, knockout tournaments, Double or nothing sit and goes, and more. And more. America's Cardroom.net. Join the next big thing. <laughs> what, what 
everyone, I'm here with Superman. What everyone wants to know is, how long does it take to do your super hair? Like five minutes. That takes five minutes? Yeah, five minutes. The whole thing, I mean, the little curly cue. Oh, everything, yeah. Can I, can I? Go ahead. Ah! ah! <laughs> Scared the hell out of me. Did you guys know that Sporting Bet made its final payment to the U.S. government last week? Paying off all their fines, so that uh, kind of clears the way for them to get back into a regulated U.S. market, should one present itself. And if you live in the United Kingdom, get ready, because your government has a consumption tax coming your way, aimed to go after online gambling operators. The cost of such a tax will undoubtedly be passed down to you guys in the form of uh, smaller jackpots, smaller margins, and uh, less competition when people pull out of the market. But hey, it's not all bad news. The Camelot Group, which runs the lottery in the United Kingdom, says that people can now use their mobile devices to buy lottery tickets that way. Hmm. Ain't that convenient. So all this uh, talk about uh, regulation and online gambling and stuff got me to wondering what the big boys in Las Vegas, like Caesars, have planned for the world outside the United States. So I drove right on over to Caesars Palace. I walked right into their offices and I said, I want to talk to your executive vice president about this. And I did. Here's what he had to say. Hello, everyone. Jay Todd here at uh, Caesars Palace. I've caught up with the executive vice president, Jonathan Halkyard of Caesars Entertainment. Uh, Mr. Halkyard, first of all, thank you for coming on this week in gambling. And I, I wanted to ask you for all our, our viewers around the world, uh, what Caesars is doing as far as online gaming, social gaming, and, and other ways to promote the Caesars brand as industry leaders uh, globally? Well, Caesars is very fortunate to have some well-known brands worldwide, including, of course, Caesars, the World Series of Poker, the Flamingo, the Rio, and our Total Rewards program. So we've been active on a number of fronts. For a couple of years now, we've had the World Series of Poker.com offering for rake, for money, uh, poker in the UK, in France, and in Italy with partners uh, in Europe. We have, are introducing that in the US. Of course, we are looking forward to the legalization of, of online poker in the US. Uh, but I think the most exciting development recently has been in our social and mobile gaming applications on Facebook, on the iPad, and on the iPhone, um, and soon coming on the I Android and other platforms as well. We have a game called Slotomania which is a, a product of a company we acquired about a year ago called Playtica. It's very popular, one of the most popular downloads on the App Store, in, on the iPod, uh, pad and the iPhone. Uh, and our, our World Series of Poker.com business continues to grow in Europe as well. Excellent. So if uh, our viewers around the world are watching this and they'd like to participate, maybe play at one of your uh, social games or one of your, your real games, can you tell them a couple places they could go? Sure. They can... First of all, go on Facebook and search for Slotomania, uh, and they'll find a number of our games there. They can do the same thing on the App Store for the, um, for the iPhone and the iPad. You can also go to WSOP.com or Caesars.com to find our online poker games. Excellent. Mr. Halkyard, I thank you so much for joining. This is our first interview on the new show, so I guess we're getting things started right. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thanks. You know, I think this was a pretty good show. You had uh, entertainment an excellent interview, uh, um, information, a, a rant, and no nudity. Some might think that's a good thing, considering the host. If you like us, I hope to see you back next time to find out what's going on this week in gambling. So does Superman have a super jig, like a super jiggy dance? I think it's like the Soldier Boy. Right. Have you ever right. seen that? It's like something like this. Do you like the soldier boy? Oh, uh, yeah. Like that, yeah. Say, with, holy, like holy sheep sh Oh, my God. This guy's real. This guy's the real. This is not a suit. Holy crap. Yeah, it's I've got, I got a little man crush here going on. <laughs>